I actually have black coffee right now with me. You know, this really feels like a morning show and I kind of like it. Hey you, what is up? How is it going? This is Papa Python from cleverprogrammer.com. I'm starting something new today. I was inspired by one of my friends. She taught me about something called daily method of operation. I'm gonna talk to you guys about this as well. But what I'm starting is a 30 day video challenge where every single day I make a video. I don't know if I'm gonna be posting it every single day, but definitely for the next 30 days, I'll be making a video every single day. And today marks day one of that challenge. And I'll also talk to you about what inspired this and how I'm gonna be getting it done and hopefully it inspires you to do the things that you need to do. So for example, if you are working harder to become a better developer, work either on your negotiation skills or your actual technical skills, then you can use the tools I'm gonna be using and talking about in this video to your advantage so then you can have a system, a discipline, to practice, become better, and improve. In terms of programming, I feel I have a lot of it down. But when it comes to when it comes to this, this was my challenge. So maybe at the end of this video, I'm gonna ask you, and not maybe, I'm definitely gonna ask you by the end of this video that you put down what challenge you can commit to for the next 30 days. And it could be really fun and exciting because we can both be in this together. So I would want you to comment, and I want you to already start thinking about it, but I want you to then later comment, what is the one challenge you can commit to? And it doesn't have to be something as hard as what, well, for most people this might seem pretty hard, but for me this is not that difficult. So make sure you pick something that's actually not that difficult. It doesn't have to be something like you have to make a video. It could be 20 minutes of coding challenge every day, or 15 minutes of, meditation challenge, whatever it is that you feel that could help you. So I'm going to talk to you about the DMO daily method of operation for a second. And essentially what this really is, is what are the things you, you need to do that you cannot, that even if you were imprisoned by somebody, you'd be able to do. All right. So you have to come up with uh, a few that you have. And what's amazing about this concept is how simple it is, yet it is extremely effective and can really help you get a lot of things back on track. This concept is, it's uh, easy, it's very simple, but it, it, it is very effective. So it's deceptively simple and once you might hear of it, you might go, oh, this seems too easy, so I'm not gonna do it because it's not gonna work. All right, it might even sound a little stupid, but I promise you that if you actually pay attention, it'll blow your mind. So check it out. So daily method of operation. Every day we have these tasks, we have these, these things that if we just did those things, we'd be on the right track. So for example, the one that really hit me and it actually has been hitting me a lot because I, I was traveling and it was December and I was vacationing and I was with my friends and family and my routine got all messed up. So waking up became a lot harder than it used to be. Like I would just wake up at 6 a.m. and get going. But I've been out of that momentum. So now it's like I'll wake up at six and then I'll snooze and then I'll wake up at eight and then I'll snooze and I'll wake up at 10 and I might snooze or I might not. So every day it's like I'm waking up at a different time in my body, it causes my body to just go crazy. So with the daily method of operation, one of the things that I picked as my daily method of operation, and this is really inspired by, again, my friend, her name is Carissa, and uh, she's one of Tony Robbins' international speakers, one out of six, so she's pretty badass, but she said that one of hers is wake up, stay up, which I love, which I stole right from her, and uh, so I'll put this down. So one of mine is now wake up, stay up. So wake up, stay up. What this means is right when you wake up, you just stay up, all right? It's just a simple rule, simple little thing, but it makes all the difference in the world. So this means no snoozing your alarm clock, no anything else. It's just right when I wake up, I remember wake up, stay up, and then I'm just gently just get out of bed and I'm like, all right, I gotta get moving, I gotta get going. 
So wake up, stay up is something that helps me out a lot. And another thing that she said was, another thing that's actually can be really helpful is if you set your alarm outside of your room. So if you set your alarm in your room, it's gonna be difficult to get up. So what I started doing and what I encourage you to do is set up your alarm outside of your room, right? So for example, I'll ask, I'll be like, hey Alexa, wake me up at 8 a.m. to going bad. Sorry, I'm not sure. So you see how awesome Alexa is and how easily she understood everything. But anyways, normally she works. Of course, she's not gonna work right now. She's being bad. You can have her wake you up. If you don't have Alexa, you can have something else wake you up. You can have an alarm clock, but just set outside of your room on your phone. And I like waking up to music that I like instead of like the alarm clock, which is like bam, 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 bam. It's like, I just wanna smash somebody's face in. So that's one thing that I like about that. And then, okay, so one is wake up and stay up, right? Then the next thing, and uh, these are things that you normally wouldn't do. So for example, I wanted to put, as my daily method of operation, I wanted to put coffee, but I don't need to put that because I get a black coffee all the time anyway. It's not hard for me, so I don't actually need to write it down and commit to it as my daily method of operation. I actually have black coffee right now with me. You know, this really feels like a morning show and I kind of like it. We're, we're gonna do this every morning, this is exciting. So the one that I do need is water. I, uh, water is amazing for you, but I just don't drink enough of it. So my second uh, thing is to drink, not six ounces of water, but just uh, a water bottle. And you could have yours be, you know, just drink a cup of water and that's pretty good. The one that I just started now, the daily method of operation, and this one is a little difficult, but like for example, you can do multiple other ones, but the one I'm doing right now is 30 minutes, uh, phoneless 30 minutes, so this is phoneless, so I can't be using my phone. I'm basically gonna be making a video in that time. And you can do anything that you want in this time frame. So for example, for me, it's a 30 minutes I'm gonna spend every morning after I wake up, stay up, water bottle, I'm gonna make a video for you and for myself. So you can do video or you can write or you can actually use this time to code or meditate. Really whatever it is that you find important and that you find that you need to do. For me, it's definitely, uh, you know, I, I have used this time in the past for meditation. I've used this time in the past for journaling. I've used this time in the past for listening to something, but now I'm committing to doing, I've also used it for writing. So I wrote for 30 days and then beyond. And for those of you who were following me on Snapchat or Instagram, you can actually see it. And I hold myself accountable to it every single day. If you are on this channel, definitely follow me on Instagram. And the reason is that I am very, very active on Instagram, like way more active than YouTube or any other platform. So if you wanna get in touch with me one-on-one, -on -one, you'll kind of be surprised by how likely, how easy it would be for you to get in touch with me through Instagram. If you send me something cool, and or interesting question, but if you just go crazy saying something, I might ignore you. And you, but most importantly, even if it's not to for you to get in touch with me, you can actually use it as inspiration because I'm gonna be logging the real stuff uh, that I'm doing day in and day out. And you can also see my routine there and what I'm doing. So you can actually steal that, reverse engineer it for yourself and then put it on steroids and get much better results than even I'm getting in those departments. All right, so we have all of this stuff. And after this, another DMO that you could have that I have in my life is something to do with fitness. All right, so you could have your DMO, your daily method of operation, have something to do with fitness. 
It could be as easy as doing 10 push-ups, or if that's not easy, then you know, sit-ups or whatever is easy for you. All the way to going to the gym and working out. Some kind of workout should be part of your daily regimen. And the reason why this is there, even if you're kidnapped, you can still just, you know, kind of work out or do something unless they really have you tied down really badly, then you're kind of screwed. But in most cases, in most abduction cases, that's not going to happen. Let's not go too far with that. But the point is that you can do this wherever. Okay. You, you can do this wherever. Now the video part that I'm doing, you can't do that wherever that's difficult. And I'm going to need to request a camera for that or something, but for you to meditate or for you to code or for you to write that you can pretty much do anywhere, right? If for coding, coding is thinking you can actually code on a piece of paper. You can code, you know, on a whiteboard, you can code, whatever. So these things are that don't require that much effort. So that is my daily method of operation right now. Once I wake up, I stay up. I will not go back to sleep. I drink a water bottle right at the start of my morning. So as soon as I wake up, I grab my water bottle. Then as I'm listening to I am, you know, I also put on music that I enjoy. And then after that, I'll do 30 minutes without my phone. And now my challenge is video. So this is me being here. And lastly, it's going to be fitness. So actually right after this video is done, my friend's coming over and then I'm going boxing. So I'm going to be going and working out right after this finishes. So there you have it. It almost fell into my coffee, which is not good. There you have it. The daily method of operation. Let me put a little, let me put a little something, something on it. You know what I'm saying? Put a little black underline that doesn't work. There we go. Daily method of operation. So in the comments below, I want you to comment. If you watch this video, what is your daily method of operation? What are the few simple things that you're doing that will 10 X 20 X your effectiveness, your productivity, but very, very simple. So put your few things that you have, it could be this. And also if there's a challenge you want to commit to, what is that challenge? Pick either of the questions, but go in the comment, answer it, and I will reply to a lot of you. All right. With that said, thank you so much for watching. That's it for this video. As always, I love your face and I'll see you in the next video.